twice as fast as people do. I just thought it was funny. Yeah, 100%. Go lord! Look what level you are. You're level 6. You're doing fine. See, there's a the boss over there. Kuzan. Oh, go, John! Okay. Barter's actually doing pretty good. He's actually hitting people. Oh no. Well, those bandits are gonna try to move up on us. And there's that nomad. I always thought nomads were really good. Oh gosh. Good thing Sarah was on that spot. Okay, well, it's got just a little bit more uh, dire. There we go. Oh gosh, I can't actually... Okay, Barter's gonna have to endure one more turn. Uh, we have our, all of our sword users over here, so it's fine. Guy is fine. We can just move, we can heal him, and then we'll move him up to the place over there. We'll actually equip his, uh, killing edge. Usually we would save a killing edge, but in this circumstance, we don't really want them to be able to attack us twice. Okay, let's see if we can hit him. There we go. See if Rebecca can hit him. Um, he won't kill us if we don't, so it's fine. There we go. Yeah, we should probably be moving Sarah down here, but <sighs> doesn't matter. He can do three damage to us, but we can do ten damage to him. So, huh. I always liked Myrmidons in this game. They're so cool. Alright, what? I got Apple headphones for my earbuds. And, uh, yeah, it's just mercenary. And I always have my, uh, oh gosh! Looks like you've breathed your last. You just did 13 damage to us. Well, this just got a whole lot scarier. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Dang it! Um, <laughs> I didn't think this was going to happen. I didn't think the boss would move. The bosses never move. We're gonna actually have to retreat. Okay. Move back there, guy. You're fine. Get healed. Get healed, kid. Kuzan can only do 13 damage. We'll be fine. The guy can only go down to 7. Rebecca's fine. Yeah, this just got worse. <laughs> After, okay, we can just move Marcus over here and then everyone will be fine. It just got to like, oh no, the boss moves. Can we actually kill him? No, we can't. We can try to do 12 damage though. 
Yeah, we did 12 damage. Cool. Okay, go Marcus. Kill, kill, kill. Oh, how did you miss? How did you miss? You're Marcus, you should not miss anything. <laughs> oh gosh. Lowen, you should just guard here for right now. And Ellenwood, you should get in front of Rebecca so she doesn't just, like, get killed. She doesn't get sniped from out of nowhere. Boom! Unbelievable. I was helpless to stop them. That's what we put the killing edge for. But, okay, I was gonna say, if a bandit comes out of the darkness, we're probably dead. Okay. This is only the sixth turn. If we can get Marcus all the way up there. Okay. Seem fine for now. Yeah, we can actually, uh, Get that village over there. It'll be fine. Pick your steel sword now. Let's see what's out in the darkness. There's no one there. Okay. Oh no. There's only brigand over there, I think. Move Hector up a little bit. Oh, gosh. Okay, so it, oh, uh, Hector will be fine. What do you have though? Yeah, it's just an iron sword. Loan should be fine. Hopefully, no one can attack Ella Wood. Yeah. Yeah, we're probably fine. Oh, probably gonna get surrounded. Oh gosh! Don't die, Lowen. Oh no. Three. So that ranger only has to do five damage. And Lowen's dead. And we'd have to do this all over again. Okay, good thing it didn't attack Lowen, where it could actually kill him, so, uh, that was good. Oh no, they couldn't have killed him. He would have been on 1 HP, but he wouldn't have died. Okay, this is the last turn, so we're gonna... Visit this village. Oh my, those ruffians are attacking you. Our village is in danger too. We've talked it over and here, it's all the money we've collected. If you chase off the bandits, it's yours. 5,000 gold, that wasn't worth it at all. <laughs> Do you have a vulnerary? Does Hector have a Yes, he does. We'll actually use that then. Hector, you get back here. We'll be fine. We'll heal Lowen. Sarah pr probably won't die. I don't think the bandit over there can actually get to Ellawood, so I'll just... Yeah. I'll just move him right there. Yeah, he can only get back there. Okay. So we're fine. We'll just move back onto this little island. Let's see. Let's see, can you get to him? Yeah. Oh gosh. Um. All three of them can attack. Unless Elowood can. Okay, the Mirmiron can't get to him. Let's just see. Okay, they're not attacking Ellawood, so that's fine. 
He'll be alright. Oh yeah, I got Lowen. <sighs> he finally got some more speed. You did four damage to me, sir. Wow. Now Marcus is trapped at that village. I can only do seven, it's not that much. Yeah, go all with. More XP? And again, they don't attack our hero. Oof. Well, that's it. Oof! Blast! I won't forget this. Then you're smarter than you look. Get out of here! Are you alright? Hmm? Oh ho! I. I've been saved! We've driven them off. Are you injured? No, not at all. As you can see, I'm as fine as fine can be. I'm glad to see that. We'll take our leave then. Let's go, Hector. Wait a moment, please! A token of my thanks! Do not worry yourself. We did nothing to merit reward. That's right. We've no need of a peddler's junk. P -p -p peddler Hector! Whoops. Ahem, I am Merlinus. You'll find no other traveling merchant whose goods compare. Don't let your eyes fool you, I'm quite prosperous. Huh? You're a merchant? Books and knives and all that? Eh? Hector, your manners are terrible. Merlinus, please, pay no mind to what this oaf has to say. No, of course not. I wasn't concerned at- Ahem. By the way, you two obviously come from highborn houses. Would you grant me the honor of your names? I am Elwood, son of the Marcus of Fairy. I'm Hector, Marcus Ostia's brother. Goodness, Arstia, Fairy. The greatest houses in all of Lucia. Uh, to be saved by noblemen such as yourselves. It is an honor beyond words. It's nice to be appreciated for a change. Lately, people just seem to want us dead. Tell me, Merlinus, what are your plans? Pardon? My plans, my lord? I had planned to travel Lycia selling my merchandise, but it may not be possible in such dangerous times. If that's the case, why don't you come along with us? Hector? Our travels will not be ending anytime soon. We've gained more people and more items, right? It might be good to have help managing our things. Oh ho, now that is a splendid idea. Managing merchandise is my specialty, after all. Are you sure? Quite sure, my lord. To be honest, I've dreamt of working for a noble house, to have my fondest wish granted in such a way. I cannot stem these tears of joy. Lord Hector, Lord Elwood, take me into your bosoms, and keep me safe forever. Uh, thank you. Well met, Merlinus. We're counting on you. Now I've got some things I want you to carry. Yes, of course, whatever you have, Merlinus will keep. Yeah, Merlinus, he's a merchant. He travels along with us in a caravan, and he takes our items, and he stores them for us if we get too many of them. Well, that's going to be all for now. Uh, I'll record later. But for now, my name is Jalbafenio, this has been Fire Emblem, and I'll see you all later.